Well, if I gave y'all very much feedback on this belt job, once I got the belts back on there, um, I did notice there was a little oily spot up under the motor there so I got a mechanic I like to let work on this thing more than I like to work on it because he's smarter than I am <laughs> one of the good uh, things about being a half good mechanic is when you know know you're smart enough to let somebody else work on something you don't know about so I think that before next spring I'll get this over to him and let him take a look at that oil leak it seemed like the water pump was turning quite freely and the alternator felt free as it should and uh, it all felt good but uh, I just have them give it a once over I also noticed it has a high speed skip and I've got a little uh, mist coming out the exhaust pipe which is very often a sign of a, of a broken head gasket or a cracked head or something but it runs really good other than that high, ski high speed mist it doesn't really run like a bad head gasket but I'll have him check all that out and it's always smoked a little uh, it's just the nature of the beast I think uh, and I noticed it losing some oil on this trip because I had to put some in it I had to put some in it uh, well I went from here to Vermont and I checked it over there and I was down a quart so I put a quart in it then and now I am I hadn't lost any hadn't lost any coming back so if I have not enough to to tell so if I got an oil leak I ain't got much of one but you know engine this old and all and this many miles on it you can't you can't expect it not to leak something somewhere or something so I guess I could crank it up and run it and let you hear it see if you can hear what I was talking about as far as the little high speed mess in it some of y'all are pretty good diagnosticators That's pretty good, don't it? So I'm just gonna give it a high speed ramp. You hear that miss? Anyway, that's my two concerns right there. So, as soon as everything stops dripping, I'll blow it out. My tank over here is still dripping a little bit. I think my hot water heater's about done. That's a good tip. I appreciate YouTubers telling me about this plug in the bottom of my tank. I didn't know about that, see? And I know sometimes y'all think all of your efforts are in vain because I don't never pay any attention, but I do. It just takes a long time for y'all to be able to see the fruits of your labors. That's all. That's all I'm saying. I'm tighten that too much. It wasn't on there real tight to start with. Okay. <laughs> 